If a woman does not have the right to control her own body, she is not truly equal. Eric Schneiderman built a reputation as a vocal advocate of women's rights and a champion of the Me Too movement. As New York State Attorney General, when allegations of sexual misconduct surrounded Harvey Weinstein, it was Schneiderman who investigated and then sued the disgraced movie mogul and his company. They were threatened At the time, he praised the women who spoke up. We've begun a long overdue reckoning with our culture of violence and silence. Now, in a stunning turn, Schneiderman is being accused of the very behavior he so often condemned. Four women spoke to The New Yorker, two making their names public, alleging Schneiderman slapped, choked, and threatened them, often after drinking. In a statement, he said he engaged in role-playing and other consensual sexual activity, but the women dispute that. He was, according to multiple women, not role-playing, that this was not Fifty Shades of Grey. It wasn't in a gray area at all. Uh, this was activity that happened in many cases, fully clothed, outside of a sexual context, during arguments. While the women never went to police, district attorneys in two counties are now investigating. This columnist says these allegations are unlike previous New York political scandals. It's not hugely surprising to me that there's hypocrisy and that some people don't behave the way that they say that they will. Um, but this particular is really shocking. Are we ready to fight Shocking, against and she says disappointing for many on the left. Schneiderman was seen as a leader of liberal America's resistance of Donald Trump fighting the administration on dozens of fronts on everything from environmental regulations to the travel ban. There's a lot of uh, outrage today and there's a lot of sadness from people who really believed in him and really saw him as the potential person to bring down the Trump administration. Now the man who once warned the president that no one is above the law is finding out that also applies to the Me Too movement. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.